For Alexandria and for being an artist has always been easy, even at an early age. I've been an artist my whole life. When I was a young child, I was homeschooled, so I had a lot of time to really, like nurse that inner child. Her art inspiration actually comes from being around others. And being an extrovert and an artist isn't always the easiest because I want to be around people, but I want to create art. So being around other people creating art is, is like the ideal scenario for me to be productive and happy. I feel like that really propelled me forward, not necessarily because the classes were teaching me things. To get her foot in the art world, she designed costumes for cosplay. I really started trying to take my art seriously when I started making costumes back when I was in high school and I moved to LA to get a start in the art world. But Alexandria realized that her true passion and talents were in drawing and sculpting. I believe I am the most talented when it comes to illustrating. I do lots of ink drawings and um, all of my friends and people who follow me really love my ink work, but I, I really enjoy sculpting as well because it's a physical thing. I feel like when I make a sculpture, I'm creating this idea in my head and I feel like it comes to life. The Northern California native hopes to shine a spotlight on issues through her art. The ocean is really special to me. With my art, I try to do more than just create a pretty painting. With my art, I try to raise awareness and I try to get people to, to love and to care about things. And she also hopes to educate others with her sculptures. A lot of people are really scared of sharks. They're, they think they're these dangerous, evil creatures. They're one of the most endangered animals in the ocean. So I really want to use my art to help people love sharks and see them as something beautiful rather than like a monster. To tie in her advocacy for sharks, she decided to use an unusual medium to make her point. Um, so this shark sculpture I have behind me made out of trash that was found on the beach. This is the same thing. This is like 95% trash found on the beach, maybe some trash found on downtown. For me, I really try to raise awareness. By 2050, they predicted that there's going to be more pieces of plastic than fish in the ocean. With the coronavirus keeping everyone indoors, Alexandria thought it was the perfect time to create her next masterpiece, the narwhal. Most people don't know this, but narwhal actually means corpse whale. But they're also the reason people believe in unicorns. They're the origin of the myth of the unicorn. So they're a really special animal that's really sacred to myths and folklore, and they're just a really majestic animal. Like her shark art piece, she used trash to form the sculpture. The foundation is water bottle, and then there's a big soda cup that's kind of like forming like the tail right here, probably from a Slurpee or something. The tail is made out of hangers, and there are a lot of forks and spoons and knives, also bottle caps. And I thought those were actually really appropriate to use on uh, making a narwhal because they have all these spots all over them. So I think by using all these bottle caps and really capturing the coloration of their skin. While Alexandria continues to advocate for clean oceans and endangered species, she encourages her fans and her fellow artists to follow their dreams. If art is something you're passionate about, do it every day. You're not gonna get good overnight. Like, don't be hard on yourself. Like, if you really wanna do it, keep doing it. Spend at least an hour a day and you will get good.